test.
Hello. Okay. Um so we can change the ball in some way. You ready to go? Do you need a minute? Uh yeah, I'm just uh sharing my screen right now. Okay. Oh, I'm in the wrong. Yeah. Ball drop. Yeah. Um so yeah, uh we said we were going to try to make buttons for changing the ball in some way. Um, so, what, uh, yeah, how do you want to change the ball? Um, I guess it was just like, Maybe we can have buttons that go left, right, up, down, maybe, or something like that. And then have them just, like, change the, the, change the velocity. Oh, what the fuck? What happened? You just got super high. And I went, and I went like this. And, oh, look, it went even higher. Oh. Okay. So. Uh. To do. Uh. Handle. Being paused. So, how would you describe what's going on there? Uh... I'm assuming some some ticks, like some of our like time, yeah, like elements are getting messed up. Um... Uh, we don't necessarily need to figure out like what exactly is happening, but I was thinking. Let's try to describe it well enough to be able to make a to-do that we know what it means when we come back to it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um... Like... Uh, what were the steps that you took to make... What... What was the weird thing that happened, and what were the steps that you took to make that happen? Um, well, the ball is running to e try to exit out of the, the, the shell. That's the, called the shell, right? I think so. Right, and then uh, it's going to ask you if it's... It, like, he's going to ask, like, do you really want to do this? It's still running. And he say, actually, yeah, and then he said cancel. And then we had, like, kind of choose, changes the position of the ball and makes the velocity higher. Or that's all we've seen so far. We don't know if it changes it to go lower. But, yeah. All right. 
so here's the steps and the thing that happens. All right. Uh, so do you want to switch and work on that? Or do you want to do the buttons for going up, down, left, right? I think First. I feel like this this problem, this most recent this um most recent problem is interesting. So we can work on this one first. Hmm. So let's see if we can figure out why that happens. Mm -hmm. Can you produce the same or not? Or you can't because it's like a different. Um, um I'll try. Yeah, mine just kills it immediately. I'm not sure how to bring up uh, a dialogue that says, are you sure? Okay, so interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's, let me run that one more time. Because... We could probably add some code down here to say, like in this loop, to say if the person clicks on close window, so this part, instead of just setting running equal to false, first pop up a window. We could probably do that. Um, but uh, it happens on yours, and... I, I think we can figure it out by looking at what's going on on your screen. Yeah, so it seems like the time it takes for me to press cancel affects um, the position of where the ball is. So if I go here, then I'll do this very quick. Then it just goes like that. And then 
if I go like that and wait a while, it's gonna be oh well, it's still there. Okay. So the longer it takes for you to press, the weirder it gets. Yeah, so you can see just there, it just bye bye. Hmm. Like look at that look at that Y. I mean look at that X velocity. What's making it do that? It was moving earlier. That's weird. What's some other stuff you could try? Um... I'm not sure. Huh. Do it a few more times, see if you notice anything else different happen. Okay, so it can slow down as well. Depends on where it is. I press cancel. Because it was going to go higher and then it just went new. Can you, so instead of going higher, it went lower? Like it was yeah. going up and then it went uh, down? Here, let's see if I can do it again. If we go like... there like it didn't increase it just like it changed the position and then also I don't know it's weird so you can make it bounce lower but also very high Do you have any thoughts on how that's happening? Well, like I said, probably something to do with um with um the ticks, but seems like the position the position is getting I guess the position and velocity actually are both getting changed. Well, I think the position is, for the most part, like where the ball w would would be going if it's not canceled. If I didn't press cancel, mm -hmm. 
and then I guess the 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 velocity just like changes during that time. It makes it look funky. Uh, if you didn't press close, right? Like, cancel is when it comes back, but if you didn't uh, interrupt it is what you're... Yeah, I think, about, right? I think the Y is, like, I think so, at least. Just, let's see. Let's make this go higher. Okay. Like, try to visualize where that's going to go. And like, it's like kind of there. Yeah. Like, where is that going to go? It's there. So something about... Mm-hmm. Something about what? No, sorry. What did I what did I say? Oh, you said so something about and then I, I was wondering Oh what I, you were I, thinking. I don't I, Not sure. I Yeah. Um Some I'm thinking it has something to do with uh Right now, we assume that this happens relatively quickly. And as long as it happens relatively quickly, then it's pretty close to... The difference between discrete and continuous is not that much. Mm -hmm. um, so right now, we are recalculating uh, the velocity and the position by assuming that since the last time we did the calculation, the ball has moved linearly through whatever position it was at to the new position and velocity. Um, so it has moved in a straight line. It doesn't actually move in a straight line, though. Um, but as long <clears throat> as long as so, like from calculus, when you're trying to find the area under a curve, um, have you done that? I've done a little bit. Um, so in you our, can, yeah. You can, if you have a curve, you can take a point two points on the curve and then just make like a a a shape that has straight edges and then find mm -hmm. the area of that and it'll be close to the area under the curve mm -hmm. yeah. and if you take more points then you get closer to the area under the curve um this is, uh, in the usual case, it's many, many points in time from zero seconds to one second, let's say. This should happen many times. There should be many of those uh, smaller straight edge shapes. Um, but when when the cancel dialog comes up, it has paused somewhere in here, and then the rectangle associated with that uh, 
time period is much wider than all of the other rectangles. Um, so that that makes it so that this value gets very big. So most of the time we assume that this value is very small. The amount of time since the last tick. So this is like, what time is it right now? What time was it the last time we did all of these calculations? Okay, the difference between those is this. So we will update the ball with that information. Oh, so let's I go. See. Let's go look at this. Uh, oh, there's probably like a jump to definition. Code actions format execute refactor test. Um, don't see how to do that. I'll look into that later. Anyway, def update. Alright, so here is the code for that. So what happens here if dt is a big number? If dt is a big number, mm -hmm. then in self-update and that, um, uh, okay, um, then the velocity will increase by a lot or decrease depending on if this value is a negative number at the time. Yeah, so the absolute value of dt is a bigger number. So the amount of change here in velocity is bigger. Yeah, and then the self dot center y plus equals to. So this is yeah. So the velocity changing a lot makes it so that the position changes a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Then, how do we prevent dt from becoming so large? Um... Is there, like, a, a U, UI thing where, like, I can say, like, just... Just don't do that. Um. Let's see what a typical DT is. Oh, wow. For me, it's just... Wait, hold on. That's not right. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. 17. <laughs> oh. Okay, now it's getting, now it's changing a little bit. No, nope, back to 17. Oh, uh, now try closing and then hit cancel. Uh, Did it and then down? actually close. Or wait. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, scroll back, see if you can find. Is it? 24 in there. No, oh, I think it's that 2000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. So, DT is indeed getting very large. So, uh, 
What's like a dumb way to keep DT from getting too large? What's the what's a very straightforward um by like say by saying if you want to run something with DT, DT has to be within a certain amount. Yeah, so uh I think down here We can just say how how do we limit DT down here before we even get into those other functions? Uh I mean, not, yes. not in a what? Oh, sorry. You can go. Um, we don't have to do anything like prevent, cancel, or uh, anything like that. We could do we could do something very straightforward. We could just say. Oh, what like an if else statement regarding yeah. well the we update. Say if DT is too big. So, what were the typical values you were getting? I was getting around 17, 16. Like, it was alternating between 16 and 17. So, maybe let's do like if it's bigger than 50. Yeah. Then DT is equal to 50. Also, if you see yourself writing code like this, you can do dt is equal to min on 50 and dt. And that should be the same thing. So whatever the smaller of these two numbers is, that's what DT will get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you put a nine instead of a open pren here. Yeah. So. Try it out. Oh. oh that so was, it was weird. Good man going. Yeah. That's very weird. Why would that make it keep going? Uh, I don't know, but at least it goes in a way that looks plausible. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So how long is this going to say I'm stopped? That's moving pretty slow left and right to me. Yeah, it's moving pretty slow. Uh, maybe we need to revisit that.
Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> it stopped. But it's saying it's rolling. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's saying that it's stopped and that it's rolling. Um. So the rolling check doesn't make sure that it uh. So what is? So the rolling queue. Rolling queue is the thing. That's rolling. Rolling queue. Yeah. So that checks whether the y velocity is small enough. It doesn't check whether the x velocity is big enough. It just says, as long as the y velocity is slow, and I'm close to the floor, then I'm rolling. But it needs to also check whether the rolling Q. So this would need to also check whether the x velocity is big enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, I suppose you could say and not stopped. Is there a stopped queue? No. Or we'll stop at very low speed. That is a verb. That doesn't oh. check whether you are stopped. It stops you. It tells you to stop. So basically... But the way that it checks is right here. So we could make something that's just this. And so that would do... be stopped. This? Yeah. We could make a stopped queue. Yeah. If we do that, then we don't actually need this one to be separate because stopped queue checks the velocity or the speed magnitude, and that takes into account the x and the y. So we don't need the y here, which means this is probably small enough to fit on one line again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, uh, <laughs> should be not stopped. So if we're close to the floor and we're not stopped. <laughs> I'll use the restroom really quickly. Okay, okay.
Um, let's see if that ruined anything. Oh, no. So, mine, as soon as it hit the ground, it just stopped. I don't think I've gotten to gamma, uh, copying all the code yet. Um, So, huh. uh, you need self dot stopped Q on line one fifty nine for you. Hmm. But something about this is wrong because uh, it didn't work. Yeah. Try running. See if it works for you. Oh. Stop queue is not defined. Uh, I did this for stopped queue. Oh, Wait, maybe what? you need to save the file? No, it did. Is it spelled slightly differently? Or do you need a self dot stopped queue? Do you have stopped queue somewhere by itself? Oh, I definitely do. Do I? No. Okay, I just start rolling. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what the heck. What the oh, heck? Oh, I, I, we have to do absolute value of the y velocity because, um, remember, it goes negative. So then, if it's less than one, so it has to be absolute value less than one for here. Uh, but we're squaring speed magnitude squares the x velocity and the y velocity, and then it takes the square root. Oh, so that'll okay. be a that'll be a positive number, always. Because I remember we had that same problem, and then it was because that's an absolute value thing. Uh. So let's say this is a negative number. The velocity y is a negative number, and then we square it. Now it's a positive number. Same thing here. So this will be a positive or zero plus another positive or zero. I don't think that's the issue. Um, we could print stuff out to see what's going on. Do you want to try to do that? Sure. 
Okay, and, so and self wait rolling Q is self dot close to floor and is not stopped. Oh it should be low speed, not just so the Y, we still have to explicitly check the Y velocity and make sure that it's small. Yeah. So I guess we can't just say, is it stopped or is it not stopped? So, uh, self. So what do we need to check? I think we're going to need to put it onto multiple lines again. So if it's close to the floor, excuse me, what else do we need to check? Um, if it's close to the floor, and if... Oh. If it's, what did we have before? I don't remember. Um... We had is the is it close to the floor? Uh, is it not going up or down very much? So we did okay. have an absolute uh, on just the y velocity. Made sure we made sure that it was not too big. The absolute value. And wait, why did we get rid of this? Uh, because it was saying that it was rolling even when it was completely stopped. Ah, uh, okay. So we want to change this up. So it would just be and not up. So we don't currently have a stopped queue, but we can. Well, because I hit undo a lot. But this right here is how we check. you have a stopped queue still? You do, okay. Okay, I think it's fixed. We'll wait for it to uh, start rolling. Okay. Is that three Ps? Am I that dumb? <laughs> Whoops. That's when you want to be really, really sure that it is stopped. Stop. Yeah. Okay, mine well, says know. that it's rolling, and it doesn't also say that it is stopped. Oh, but we want the opposite. 
Yeah, we so, want to master rolling when it is stopped. Uh, so I guess I'll just keep waiting. Stopped. Okay, mine says stopped and not also rolling. Okay, nice. Rad. And it uh, took 38,000 lines. It printed 38,000 lines. Rolling. Cool. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Boink. <laughs> okay. So about, like, soon, please. Maybe you could have uh, something... Like when it prints out the word rolling, it could also print out what the velocities are, the x and y mm -hmm. velocities. Oh, yeah, I think our our values are a little different from like like the the stopping. I need How some way of stopped. getting. Hey, oh, it nice. stopped. Cool. I need some way of getting in here the uh, the window the pie game window so i can share it with you anyway it seems to have worked yay uh let's go back to the notes but uh, our overarching problem or let's see if it's still a problem it probably is i don't think we did anything to change it so we didn't do anything with the the buttons um, but we handle being paused oh, for a long time. Oh, this work. The being paused oh, for a long mind. time. Never oh mind. yeah. Okay. So now we have a a different being paused for a long time problem. So now, uh, to do when paused or. When shell cancel is clicked, ball keeps moving for a bit. Uh, when Ethan tries to close the shell, the ball keeps going for a second or so. Uh, do you have any better way of describing that? Anything more to add? No, I think everything else is normal. It just goes. Okay, and the desired behavior, so... Uh, What happens what do we want to happen um, and then we also want uh, how to make it happen Run the game, hit the close window button, uh, X on the terminal, but do, uh, and do not click on the pop up. What do we want to have happen instead? Oh, this could be up here. Okay. Um, all right. So this is weird. Uh, what do we want to happen? 
the ball, the simulation should stop immediately. So, So, I don't know how that would make a difference. Like, yeah, that part. The, um... I think maybe... Maybe this doesn't make a difference. Okay, it's still happening now even if i comment out this oh okay cool yeah okay so okay but it still th it's disappears. not this or maybe maybe somehow it is this but i it doesn't it's not clear to me how this would change that at all um but i it does seem like something we changed during this session made that start happening because I, I, I don't think that happened when we started this session because I think when we started this session you were clicking on it and it was immediately stopping right? Yeah. Or am I misremembering that? No, I think it was stopping. Okay, well I guess we'll have to start there next time. Um, yeah, the same thing, like you see there, it actually lowered the the velocity by a lot. Oh, wait, how did you do that? I don't know. I'm just I think it's just like the timing of it all. Very interesting. It's like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it goes hella high, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I think some of the weirdness was. If you hit the button just before it hits the floor. Oh, wait. Actually, I realized something. It, it keeps on going until it hits the bottom. Like, wait. Uh, I, I highly doubt that. Look. Oh. I wait. Oh, but you didn't hit the button. Okay. What if wait until it gets close to like a sidewall? Why would bouncing matter? Oh, it's probably going to roll before it gets there. That is Okay, I'll put that down in the notes. Uh Uh, seems to keep going until it hits the floor or wall. So until it bounces, yeah, bounces off floor or wall. That's weird. Why would that matter? And that is without the DT equals min whatever. Min 50 DT. I believe it might be the same here. Yeah. What? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm just very confused about how it's even running when I press the cancel button anyway. Yeah, me too. Like, it, they shouldn't that just not happen? <laughs> I don't know oh. what's going on when you click on that. So it's hard for me to say.
Like, I anyway. feel like that's just not supposed to happen, but... Yeah, uh... We can pick up there next time. Yeah, it sounds good. That was fun. All right, yeah, bye. Very interesting. Yeah, thank yeah. you.